Hey, welcome to another episode of It Resolves. Will, it looks like you got it that time. Yeah, I chose to try the drums and then fall back to the guitar if I needed to. No, that's fair. And I think I'd... the guitar's easier. And it's yeah. really exciting. <laughs> it's, I'm just going to do that randomly. It's good. It's a good riff. <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome to our Friday Standard episode where we've oh, got man. some very cool spoilers to talk about, as well as just talking... A general discussion about standard, maybe where it's headed. Hopefully, yeah, kind of what we Things do like now. That. Until we get another like pro event, yes. we'll have some more data yeah. to talk about. But for now, it's just kind of just a, speculatory stuff. Yeah, yeah. looking yeah. forward to what <laughs> what's to come. Yes, the so, hours ahead. I'm looking forward to it though. I, I think too. there's going to be a lot of cool decks that are going to make a resurgence. We'll see. I uh, here's to hoping. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping I think with so. Aetherworks gone. Finally, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, but anyway, uh, before we get into the content, uh, we do want to plug our Patreon a little bit. Get you guys to go check it out. The description is in yeah. the the link is in the description. Not the description. The description is in the is link. In the link. The YouTube's uh, in the Patreon. There's the a, description of our Patreon is under the Patreon link. If you well, that do it that way. That is true. That works. I'll <laughs> so get it. I wasn't I'll lying. Slide it in. I that wasn't way. lying. Um, no, but. We do encourage you guys to go check it out. Uh, do not feel pressured to donate, uh, but if you do feel like you know, if you have that notion, we would absolutely love to have you uh, as part of as as part of our direct community. Yes, uh, part of we, our immediate family. Yeah, we've got some cool goals there, so just go check it out. Uh, you'll it. you'll see all the tier goals and all that stuff. We've harp on, yeah. harped on it like every episode. We for really have. We'll, a long time. We'll shorten that a bit in yeah, the future, a bit. but just so you go know. check it out. Take Please, a look. Take we, a look. we encourage you to do so. Uh, but, right. Will, Good. do you yes. want to do the... Why not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sla- yeah. Slam it at the uh, slam it at their keyboard, sir. Uh, so, one of our favorite segments, the segment we do almost every show, except for once a week, is Card of the Day. We're doing that now, guys. Get excited. Three, two, one, click. Oh, Pyroblast. I love this Okay, card. yeah, this is actually a really good one. Yeah, yeah. So, go ahead, Kev. Take All right, away. well, Pyroblast is an instant, or interrupt, uh, as it used to be known. <laughs> right. Uh, that is, it costs one mountain, and it says counter target spell if it is blue, or destroy target permanent if it is blue. Super mm. hate against blue. Yes. It's awesome. Uh, it, yeah. Definitely played in things like Legacy and Vintage, where blue is just rampant. It's, it's prominent. One hundred percent the best color in those formats. Mm-hmm. Sorry if you disagree, but you're wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah. But <laughs> but Pyroblast really is a great card to include against mm-hmm. uh, any of the blue decks, and so it it's ran in a lot of sideboards mm-hmm. uh, as hate in any of the red decks that can take advantage of it. So. Absolutely. Uh, it it has also got a twin in blue in Hydroblast. You uh, are correct. Which is. Pretty much identical, with the exception being it hates red. Yeah. So for one island, you can destroy or counter a red thing. Yeah. Cool. It's it's awesome. Uh, yeah. It's just such a good value card. I mean, for one mana, being able to destroy or counter a blue spell. Yeah, it's. Nuts. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. No. Uh, it's perfect, especially in no. a car, in a color like red, where mm-hmm. counters are not really all that. Right. That right. Rampant. Right. <laughs> I think you've got like this, and then um, the red green hybrid card that's like. Target, I think it's a monocolored spell. Maybe you didn't like that card. I too, did not because mm-hmm. it was played in our mind versus might. Yes, I believe. Yep, that's uh, right. That's and you exactly really it. did not like that card. <laughs> I felt like it was not. It was not. Didn't needed. feel good. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, this is clearly just the better card of those two, oh, and this well, is definitely sure. a, a great card for the card of the day. I'm pretty stoked about that. Yeah. Um. The original hate stuff was what this kind of. Yeah. It's into when Wizards was experimenting with ways to shut down their decks Gosh, without there were things. so many nasty, nasty cards oh, that were printed. Things like geez. choke, and yeah, choke is just dirty. Choke is absurd. It's so it's mean. mean. <laughs> and there's one that like blows up all your lands and burns you for them. I think I'm, I'm missing wildfire. Word. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's and the burning one. of Zingy. Which is Man. basically wildfire. Yeah, there's a it's lot just, of hate. That's brutal. Land. I miss all the hate. Do you? I don't. I don't like the banning. I'd rather just have good hate cards. Then it's more fun. Yeah, that's then true, at least actually. you can still play everything. I mean, that's wizards. Fair. Call out. Anyway. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he's. I mean, you do have a point, right? Like, yeah. We've talked about it before. Banning sucks, but sometimes it's necessary when they don't plan hate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, and that's exactly. Hopefully, what the play design group mm-hmm. is going to be alleviating. Yes. Which shout out to Paul Chihan. 
I don't know if any of you guys, I'm sure you know who he is, but I don't know if you guys know about this. He is now on the play design team. Oh, is he really? He is. Uh, did I even I didn't tell know you about that? About that? I didn't Dude, know. Dude, he is on the play design team officially. Uh, I That's congratulated him on Instagram the other day. Fantastic. He is awesome. I really do like Paul. Uh, his play oh, style God, is yeah. fantastic. He is a really great player that mm -hmm. has had a lot of hard times at the GPs lately. <laughs> well, uh, yes. So I'm hoping that he can channel his <laughs> his expertise into designing cards a little bit. Uh, but he is yeah. just a great player. I watch his, his yeah, gameplay all the time. He's been around for a long time yeah. uh, with Channel Fireball and yep. streaming mm -hmm. a lot. I think he streams full time now. He well, I guess the he, he wouldn't. Um, he I actually the watched a stream with him uh, the mm -hmm. other day, and it's it sounds like he's going to try and keep streaming as much as he cool. can, but it may be once or twice a week instead of a full time. Well, thing. Well, I mean that's understandable. Yeah, right? I mean he's now got a full time job at Wizards, so doing stuff he loves. Kind of the dream. Yeah, uh, that's pretty great. Yeah, so, good for him. So props to Paul. That's yeah, great. props out to him. Uh, I'm excited to see what he does. Have his input in the play design. <laughs> group Sweet. um but yeah so car of the day and a little shout out to paul out of the way um we go into what i guess we would call our main segment is right. spoilers for yes. hour of devastation so a ton are out right now oh my gosh um, so many there's so many cool things i i'm speculating this is going to be one of our healthiest standard environments we see in a long time a huge speculation uh yes but there's so much kind of to your point there's so much hate getting printed yes. in this set <laughs> that should shut down a lot of things that feel broken yeah my my one worry is that if there's too much control kind of there does seem to be quite a lot of things right. going into so the control path there's uh we've already talked about um bonte's reckoning being yes. a three mana sweeper yeah um and we'll get to another one uh but two sweepers in standard in two different colors yeah technically there's three with sweltering suns right now but yeah it's not a it's not a bona fide sweeper it's just a maybe board clear yeah i mean it's solid but it's not oh, no it's it's not definite no it's we'll not say. bontu's reckoning but it's no. it's still great you yeah, yeah you would probably cite it in most red things right i think so i think in the right. is it control decks obviously you have to see it because it's just so yeah. good in those decks oh, but it's solid and it's it doesn't really have a huge drawback because you get uh -huh. to cycle so. Right, you can cycle, and it doesn't keep your lands tapped down. Nope, it does not. Um, that being said, uh, let's get into some of these, some of our favorites. We've picked up a few, and we're just <laughs> going to talk about them. So uh, for those lore guys, <laughs> Neheb is still in there. <laughs> Holding just... on to Neheb, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. This is like... No, a... he's actually really cool. Yes, a zombie I really like minotaur warrior. He's really cool. I don't love him at five, but that's... I it's, mean, he's still a great card. Yeah. Right, we'll take him. So he is a four six, four five, three of anything, and two red. Pretty with, good stats. Yeah, I mean that's he's a chunky dude. Yeah. He's gonna deal some damage and got a big butt. You can say that. I just like saying that. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his hips don't lie. He's also got a flick three. Whenever he becomes blocked, target defending player, uh, excuse me, defending player loses three life. Uh, and then his text says at the beginning of your post combat main phase add one red to your mana pool for each one life your opponents have lost this turn that's insane this is crazy so <laughs> i don't i don't believe he's going to get played outside of standard much however if he mm. does think of that in burn oh that's what i'm saying you could you burn him or you burn the opponent, and then you just get free mana for every yes. point of burn that you do. Yes. So like one lightning bolt <laughs> turns into two gained mana, two net yeah. gained mana. What? It's insane. That's really like, cool. He is so good because basically what he's giving you is in a deck where, let's face it, mono red's not great on mana, right? No. But really in not. a in a deck like with a Neheb in it, you all of a sudden get this extra mana mm -hmm. every turn, hopefully. And the the downside being that because he's a five drop, hopefully you've kind of won the game or gotten close yeah. to winning the game at that point. That's the and thing. so that's the downside. I think that's why you probably won't see him quite as much in mm -hmm. constructed play. But I do think there's going to be a place for him. And where that is, I do not know. Um, Commander's the big one for me. I think Commander makes the most sense. Yeah, Commander sticks out a lot. Um, he the reason I don't think he's going to hit much eternal formats is because at five. His ability is so good. You kind of want to build around that, right? Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's 
a great bonus, but it's not like one that you just I, I just happen to. I'll have jam there, him but... just for the bonus. Yeah, yeah you, don't, you, really don't, do you don't really do that. Um, so at five, he is perfectly balanced. I want to say because anything lower than that, like picture this on a four drop. That's kind of nuts, yeah. right? Yeah, it is a little ridiculous, but I'm I'm still really excited about it. Oh, I do hope that somebody he's breaks really him. Cool. Uh, I I think somebody will. So limited, also. Um, oh, limited all star. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of thinking that when hundred percent first yeah. pick all the time. You see the like, late, you see the later turns and yeah. You know. I think this. I think he not single handedly, but he helps make red such a good color because yeah. right now.